So if you want to take out that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. If you want to do it, you let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse! I don't know you! Spit me on my face right now! Keep spitting my face! Today's video takes us on a return trip to Everett, Washington, where we have Glenn Serio berating his landlord for no reason at all. This is part two. Oh, it was such a long video. I couldn't do it all in one sitting. Get a bloody headache from this guy. Enjoy. Hey, don't forget, Mr. Serio, I'm exposing you for the racist, bigoted, misogynistic pig that you are. And I don't care if I ever make a dime on these videos on YouTube, because I've always included your racist rants, which you have now taken down from your channel. <laughs> Isn't that coincidental? Took down the rants about you being a racist. Oh, how lovely. Enjoy the video. Viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> How can you live with yourself? Look at you. Oh my God. Look at you. Good thing I'm on public property. Nothing you can do about this. Who cares? Oh, you, you must care. You got my license plate. Did I? Well, I, you must care. If you want to play the game, I figure, well, I'll just play your game too. Uh -huh. oh, okay. It takes two. I'm not stupid, I'm stupid. How old are you? Old enough to know better. You're probably what, 64, 65? Glenn's always worried about people's ages. He's 35 now. And let me tell you, Glenn, you look like a piece of garbage. If you do make it another 30 years, you'll be crippled to the point where you can't walk. Close. Yeah, well, you're not, I mean, you're not in good shape, Klein. Look at you. You're not in good shape. You look in terrible shape. I know. I feel terrible. Too. You look terrible, man. Yeah. You look terrible. I got one foot in the grave. <laughs> oh, man. And the other one's on a banana peel. I mean, do you, do you want me to get a shovel? and? You know, <laughs> no. Miles, I help. I just hit me over the head just, with it. Just get it, just get it over with? Put me, get just it over like, with. put you in the casket early? There, you betcha. <laughs> 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 I think Glenn's laugh sounds like a wild hyena, but I've had some people say it sounds like a jackal. I don't think it really matters. What's your opinion, though? My wife the burial fees. <laughs> well, she's she's a bitch too, though. Why don't we just put you guys together? Why not? <laughs> I mean, she's she's not she's not a nice lady either, right? You can talk to her on the phone. Terrible. Terrible person. Terrible person. Yeah. Terrible person. Way worse than anything I could think of. Oh well, I mean. Pretty close to Bomar's wife, right? Oh. About the same. We got all day, Klein. We got all day. Timothy Klein, we got all day. Wouldn't that be ironic if Glenn found a job at the post office? Then we could all walk in there and audit him. Oh, that would be the pinnacle, wouldn't it? Funny, I know who you are, but you don't know who I am. <laughs> that was hilarious to me. Well, it shows you what an impression I must have made on you, and what impression you made on me. No, it just shows that you're senile. You yeah. lose your memory. You're Old timers. You can stick with that story. Old timers. You can stick with that story. You're not a smart guy. You're not. You're not a smart guy. No, I'm not. You, you act I'm, like you're. You act like you're. You know everything, I'm but you don't. A, I'm just a dummy. You are a dummy. I, I am. You are a dummy. I'm a dummy. Yeah. yeah. Piece of garbage. Yeah. No, there's no religion, there's no church that can give you redemption for what you've done. There's nothing. I don't normally put religion in my videos, but I just have to remark that I was unaware that Reverend Serio was a man of the cloth. Well, the just, shit you cause, the, not, the, the games you play, it's not about the a games you play. It's about a relationship with Jesus Christ. You don't have one. You're, you're, it's all about you're evil. It's all about him. You are evil. It's 
all about him. You are evil. I'm, and I am. You are. I'm, You're I an am. evil bastard. Yeah, I am. You are. I, I'm, I'm the chief of sinners. You are. You were the and biggest sinner. I'm so glad Jesus Christ came to die for the chief of sinners. Nope. And he died for you too. Nope. You. <laughs> yeah. There's no redemption for you. He died for me. You're going down. <laughs> You're going in hell. You are going to hell. There's no stopping it. You can smile and pretend you're happy, but deep down, you're fucked up. Lynn, with your foul mouth, if there is a hill, you will definitely be going there. You will be one of the long-time residents there. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you are fucked up. You are so much fun to be You're with. a piece of you shit. You must be great at a party, too. Yeah, you're a piece of garbage. <laughs> you're garbage, Klein. Yeah. You are. You really are. Yeah. And I, you know what? I'm proud of it. You look I'm proud of it. Proud yeah, of you it. do. You look <laughs> proud of it. You look proud yeah. of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it makes a difference when you're secure in who you are. And a person that's insecure has to run around with a camera because they don't have a lot. You believe they're insecure. But you have no idea where this is going to go. You have no idea where this video is going to go. I know. We all know where this video is going to go, Glenn. It's going to go on your pitiful YouTube channel for clicks and views, which pays you a handsome amount of money every month. Although you don't make as much as you used to because not as many people are watching. But you know what? The Lord Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord Jesus yeah. Christ can't save you. Doesn't save Dirt bags. Who so he says in, in John 14 and 6, he says, The Lord says, Whosoever cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. And if if the God of this of 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 eternity can say something like that and I trust it, that's good enough for me. Don't quote your scripture to me. Well, if the, Don't if quote the, your scripture see, to me. If the, if the Bible's not true, nothing matters really uh -huh. in this life. Is what, right? what version of the Bible are you, you talking about? If the, if the Bible's not true, nothing really matters. Sounds like you're, you're... But if the Bible is true, then really nothing else matters. Pardon me, Mr. Klein, but the idiot you are speaking with is too stupid to understand what you're trying to tell him. You might as well just go inside and forget about it. See, I don't live for myself. You do. I don't. You do. I don't. What do you need all the money for then? What's all the money for? I give away more than you. No, you don't. Okay. You are a fucking cheapskate. <laughs> you are a cheapskate son of a bitch. I know you, Klein. I know you very well. I guess you're you a cheapskate. Really I do. Yeah. I know you're a dirtbag. Well, I know. I am. And I'm, yeah, yeah, you're I'm, proud of it. I'm a, no, you already I'm, said you're proud of I'm it. I'm accountability. I, I'm accountable. No, you need to be held accountable. I you need to be held right. accountable yeah. for what you've yeah. done. Yeah. You need to be brought to justice. Speaking of being held accountable, Glenn, you should shut your mouth because you hate everyone and you spew your hatred in public for everyone to hear. Let's roll those two clips. You work for me. You are my slave. You work for me. I brought you from Africa, you motherfucker. I brought you from Africa, motherfucker. You are my bitch. And here is more proof that Glenn is a racist pig. Roll that clip. Okay. You held up traffic. It was, it's crowded street. There's snow and ice out here. And on top of that, what you said, you out there harassing somebody else again? Is that correct? Yes, and then I did. on top of that, I said, sir, I need you to move on. And you said, your words exactly. Exactly. Fuck you, nigga. I didn't say and that. And then you said That's it again. That's not true. Fuck you. That's not true. I, I precisely remember That's not that. true. Okay, it doesn't make a difference at this point. Let me see your driver's license and your registration, please. Enough of that. Back to our story. You okay? Yeah, you and your whole family. Okay. You're scumbags. Press the charges and bring it on. The Klein, the Klein family needs to decease. Ce cease to exist. Cease to exist. Why are you so angry? I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't like Bomar. I don't like Sharon. I don't like any of you fucking scumbags. You can't even walk down the street without them peeking out their blinds. You always got some drunk, alcoholic, fucking drug addict watching what I'm doing, calling you, telling you what I'm doing. If I'm working on my car, I got some fucking doper fucking calling you, you know, telling you what I'm doing. <laughs> I can't imagine you doing much of anything, Glenn, with that massive frame that you have. Maybe you should take a walk and lose some of that weight, brother. It's not healthy. Well, 
should that bother you? Sure. Because we sure, because you, you buy into it. Well, you feed into it. Well, we ask if people don't work on the... No, you feed business. into it because you, you take the phone call and you're like, oh, yeah, that fucking guy, yeah, I've had several problems with him. I'm going to get him out. Eh, you we, just, never, we never said that. Oh, come on. I know you. I know how you double talk. I know how you're fucking... You, you're not a true person. I says, as long as the guys are paying rent and, and follow the rules, they can stay here. That's why you came up to my door several times to question me, right? Several so fucking asked, times. Did I did I accuse you? Oh, of yeah, you, you did. Did I ask the question? Because... I'm hearing secondhand information. Yeah, but you don't need, it's not your job to investigate. You should know who the drug addicts are and who are not. Now Glenn's claimed on more than one video that he doesn't drink, smoke, or use drugs. Now, if that's true, that's probably a good thing because he's already off his rocker without those things. You should wor worry about those people. Those people are poisoning your place. The non drug addicts, the people that don't do drugs, the people that have normal lives, normal jobs that work, you know, you should worry about the drug addicts, the alcoholics, not the fucking, you know. Are you going to change them? I mean, are you going to change a, a, an alcoholic? Are you going to change a drug addict? So why approach me? Why come to my house and approach me about some bullshit? I just had to ask. No, you don't have to ask. You don't have to I ask. I don't know because I want to find out, hey, did you do it or not? And if you said no, then it's over. And that's the way it no, was. No, it's not. It's not. Unless they had pictures or, 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 or proof. I says, I says you, can't, you can't accuse somebody of something that's not, you don't have proof of. Pardon me, Mr. Klein, but you are speaking with someone who fell out of the stupid tree as a small child and hit every branch on the way down. Hence, his stupidity today. It's happened. Oh, it's happened. I've seen I've seen you tack on shit to my rent bill and say, oh well, there was a lawnmower out here and it was left by the dumpster, so that's a that's a forty five dollar removal fee. Um, I had to dump a bunch of stuff in front of your house and uh, you, I had to deduct. You, you know that was a lie, right? There. I had to deduct two hundred and seventy five dollars from your your deposit because you left a bunch of furniture in front of your house and the dumping cost on the old. Just give me what I what I pay for the dumping cost and you're a, you're a scam artist <laughs> you are so, now I know you're I'm so, not you were the druggie I think in here because that did not happen it did I have did. the receipts Klein oh have the receipts I have Would the you please show me? I have the bank statements Klein Could you I have it all Klein you oh you better watch yourself Mr. Klein because that's what Glenda does best he files complaints and he files lawsuits and don't forget one thing, Mr. Klein. Glenn is almost a lawyer because he's been studying case law on YouTube. Klein, you know I could sue you? Do you know that you're supposed to put my deposit in a high interest earning savings account? And you're supposed to pay me the interest, which you did not do. Which you did not do. And then you took half of my deposit, said there was furniture outside of my fucking house. So you're just a, you're greedy, you're, you're evil, you're a monster, you're a monster, Klein, you are a fucking monster, you're garbage, there is no repent for your sins, you go down, and your money, it's just gonna, the bank's gonna hey, take how it. How do you know hell's down? It's down. How do you know? Oh, it's down. And you're going down. How do you know? You're going down, Klein. How do you know? You're garbage. How do you know hell's down? You're garbage, Klein. I find it fascinating and ironic at the same time that Glenn would call anybody a pile of garbage when he's the biggest pile of garbage out there. You're a piece of shit. How do you know hell's down? You're a piece of shit, Klein. How do you know hell's down? You're garbage, Klein. <laughs> You're garbage, Klein. Good luck on your life. You need to work on it, whatever's left of it. I'm sorry you feel that way. Whatever's left of it, you need to work I on it. Know. I'm sorry you feel that way. No, I know. Oh, I know. I know you're a piece of shit. So is Bomar. You're both garbage. You married into the family. You wanted a property. You wanted you wanted to be a millionaire, which you're not, obviously. But you're trying to get there. You're trying to be like your brother. You're trying to be like your brother in California 
that owns another trailer park. Oh, you, you're wondering how I know that, right? Yeah, I know everything about you, Klein. I studied you. I oh, well, you know everything about Mr. Klein. Much in a way we can know everything about you, Mr. Serio. All we have to do is go on to the Sonomish County website and it tells us everything that we need to know about you. You're a little worm. I studied you and I know everything about you because I don't like dirt bags. I don't like scumbags. Well, you are vindictive. No, I don't I, like you. I don't like you. I, I, I'm I don't sorry. like you. I'm sorry. I, I don't like anything about you, client. Your fake, your fake attitude. You you go back and forth. You're not true. You're not a true person, right? You're gonna go back and forth and be like, yeah, that guy over there, and then go back to this guy and be like, yeah, that guy over there. You're just not a truthful person. You you you. There is no repent for your sins. That's it. You're done. You can go to church every Sunday. It's not gonna matter. You're just you're brainwashing yourself. Once you once you commit the crime, right? You do the time, right? That's right. That's right. That's right. So how many, how much property fraud have you committed? Oh, every day. Yeah? How much money fraud have you committed on those receipts? It's funny you would mention fraud, Glenn, because we're all wondering, since you don't work and you collect unemployment, or at least you did, we're wondering if you collect welfare and if you really claim all that money that you make on YouTube. I know they send a 1099 form, but that doesn't mean that you file taxes. Inquiring minds want to know about this, Glenn. Oh, I launder it. Yeah. The program. You ever been audited before? Never have. How about it's time to be audited? <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, you're, you're okay for that? Oh, yeah. You're prepared? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I figure I don't got nothing to hide. Okay. All right. All right. You never know what they'll dig up and... Inside information always helps too, you know, when they go around and they question all the neighbors and they ask and say, hey, how's it living here? How's the rent? Do you see any, is there, is it pretty frequent on the rent, the electricity? Is it consistent? What's the consistency like? You know, see, see, I'm, I'm all about, I'm all about like, I'm a realist, right? So I like consistency. So like when you go to McDonald's, right? You, you'd probably want to expect to pay the same meal for the same price or somewhere near that, a cent or two off. Could you picture Glenn at McDonald's? That order would be monstrous. How many sandwiches and fries must he get to satisfy that appetite? Of course, no matter how much food he gets, he will always be a few fries short of a happy meal. Isn't that right, Glenn? <laughs> You know, right. but right. when you when you have a a fifty dollar, you know, plus on your bill, it's 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 too high of a change, right? Didn't you ever think that might be a winter? And you use I mean, heat? I've seen bigger than that. I've seen bigger than that. Yeah, that's just an exa example. Anyway, I hope you have a nice day. I have a great day. I have, I live great. Okay. You should see my view. It overlooks Seattle. It's very nice. It's gorgeous. It's ve really beautiful. It's really beautiful. Thanks for stopping in. Yeah, no problem. Right. Change your ways. Uh,